welcome back all of you nana here and then i'm going to soon start a training on e business inventory on r12.2.12 so let me go on and share my screen and then show you what i'm going to do now so before we start i will now switch on my virtual machine actually so let me go there and then i already saved the status and then let me start the virtual machine i'm starting it <clears throat> so the virtual machine is getting started so in the meantime during its start i will explain you about my uh, website actually for this particular training <clears throat> so it is in a saved state and so it is now retrieving the data and then that will be populating over here actually so once the retrieval is complete then we can even log in into the systems actually <clears throat> that activity is now going on so let me go there and then show this is the retrieval which is now happening actually on this one by restoring it so let it restore in the meantime what i'm going to go there have a look at it so here i will now go to my website oraclenana.com slash inv so oraclenana.com slash inv is my website so it is the e business training fine so there are many requirements have come recently uh, and then i am not there to what happens is start the e business training also because it was not connect for a pretty long time actually i'm doing it is starting on 9th of september actually and then uh, it's on weekends and then starts at 5:30 pm on it is on saturdays and sunday and then it will be done on r12.2.12 instance actually so the purpose of the training is to basically teach you all the basics actually it will not teach you all the basics the basics will be becoming very strong you will then learn about how to create so you will, uh, there are many people who don't know uh, erp at all oracle erp at all so for this for them it will be a very useful one because it will now begin right from the basics actually <clears throat> and then afterwards i'll be teaching about how to get the locations the mass shark the child or the items etc etc and then you can even look at the agenda below about what all the topics which are going to be covered in this training actually so you'll become an expert on the following four major areas controls there are five controls of that serial control lot control revision control locator control and then material transfer material status control so all the controls will be done and then your transfers between sub inventories your interox and then uh, everything will be taught and then there are five replenishment techniques are there all of them will be taught in this training actually and then finally accuracy and then some fundamentals actually so go there is a very uh, reasonable and economically priced actually <clears throat> so you won't be finding too much of a stress on this okay so this is mainly for consultants who are implementing the e business inventory and then they are having lots of doubts and so what happens will be done and then i will be adding you to two of my telegram groups so that you can even interact with my past students and then if you have any doubts even if i am unable to answer somebody will be answering it fine so that you will be having a very good interaction with others actually and then the functional implementers of other modules like finance projects hcm etc also will be finding it very useful actually and then those who are from other erp also will find it and then if you don't have any knowledge on any of the erps it will be teaching right from scratch actually but you see it will be very depth and then uh, you have to spend uh, time on, from monday to friday and then practice all the concepts that is very very important actually so the prerequisites fine this course assumes no prerequisites there is no need to know anything at all for you because everything will be taught right from the beginning each and every concept will be taught from the grassroots and then we'll now make a deep dive into every business process and then i am a very famous trainer as far as uh, the erp is concerned and then you can even watch my youtube channel ananta nana and then that will give you a lot of idea about how my quality is there actually it is very huge and then you have to what happens a practice whatever has been taught on saturdays and sundays on monday to fridays so that whatever will be ready on the next one next week will be ready <clears throat> so i will be adding you to two of my telegram groups actually so that what happens we can interact with others for problem resolution you can also post your issues there either either me or somebody will assist you in problem resolution actually if required we can even meet on a zoom call on the same zoom and then i will not try to look at your issues actually so the instance for practice what happens is that uh, it's a 12.2.12 .12 is not available very easily in the market actually so one of the admin is selling it actually so you can even contact him and then uh, try to get it installed there fine in your machine so that uh, there are very heavy requirements are that you need a 32 gb of ram on your laptop fine it's a very heavy heavy so he will now tell you all the requirements actually so that once when you meet those requirements then only what happens that he will now install on your machine actually so talk to him and then get all the details on this one. so what is the duration and time fine it starts on 9th of september on weekends actually <clears throat> india time so we are doing it on india time and not on any other time so timing on saturdays and sundays okay fine 
So it is a four weekends and beyond, depending upon the interactions. Right? I am expecting it to complete in four weeks' time, right? uh, depending upon the interactions. So it is on Indian time from 5:30 p.m. to 9:40 p.m. Since I am an old man, I cannot speak beyond uh, 75 minutes actually. So I will now begin at 5:30 and then end at 6:40. I will now have a 15 minutes coffee tea break, and then I will again begin at 7 p.m. and then go up to 8:15 p.m. and then have one more break, <clears throat> fine, uh, yeah, mini dinner break actually. And then afterwards, I will now begin at 8.30 and then complete the sessions at 9.45. So we'll be having three sessions on Saturday and Sundays. Right? <clears throat> uh, and then uh, every session will be recorded and then uploaded. Don't think that the first session will be repeated on second session. It's continuous actually. Since I cannot continuously speak, I'm now taking a break and then I'm now talking. So the first session will not be repeated on second. Second will not be repeated on the It's a continuous session section. So there is no repeat at all. So every session will be recorded and uploaded to Google because you cannot remember the concepts, whatever I'm teaching. So I'll be uploading it and I'll be giving it the link actually. So you can download and then you can practice on this. <laughs> if you, even if you have a 12.2.6 also, it's okay. It's all work. Anything on 12.2.x will definitely work actually. So you can even make a payment on the below payment link. My registration will be closing once when I, because if I go beyond 100, it will be very difficult to manage actually the, the participants. So many questions will be coming. So we are now restricting it to what happens 100 actually. <clears throat> so you can even pay in this place. This is the international payment gateway. If you click on it, what happens? It will open up. <clears throat> so you can even put your name, email ID, and then you choose your country and then make a check. Fine. If you're choosing any other country, then your credit and debit cards must have a two factor authentication. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? It will not accept no, right? other countries. It will ask for a two-factor authentication of your credit card. So if that is not there, your card will be rejected. You can try with your cards. And then if it's working, it's great, actually. Fine. And then I make a payment, actually. Fine. It is a, In India, it will accept all the banks, all the net bankings, all the UPAs, and then credit and debit cards, everything. And all the payment payment methods are all accepted uh, as far as India is concerned. But for other countries, I'm not very sure, but it accepts all the credit and debit cards of other countries, provided you have a two-factor authentication. So you take on next one, then. Uh, fill up everything and then do it and then complete the payment and then send a screenshot to me on this number. <clears throat> so once the payment payment is made, uh, what you can do is you can uh, come and then send it because whatever uh, the payment gateway will be informing a bit late actually. Fine. I, I will not be able to see it, but uh, WhatsApp I'm always on. <clears throat> so I will be having a look at it and then I will now go and then make a check on the website on the <clears throat> payment gateway and then I will now see the, your payment and then I will now register you. <clears throat> And then if you don't have uh, uh, any of the, the your payment methods are not accepted, you can even contact me. I will now give you uh, how to make a payment on PayPal if you have PayPal. And then you can even look at my YouTube channel, Anantanana. Right? That will be giving you a lot of uh, what I was, uh, for, you can refer my videos for checking my quality of uh, education, actually. And go that. So this is the agenda of the e-business, basically. So I will now begin with the ERP evolution. This is mainly meant for those who are totally new to ERP, actually. So no date, and then I will now say about how the global enterprise structure has been organized in uh, you know in, in Oracle lecture, and then introduction to e-business, and then forms and menus, etc., etc. So the sessions that will be uh, what I was basically uh, doing an introduction to. Then afterwards, we'll now go on and have all the five control serial lot revision located in the administrative control, and then material transfers like what I was your transaction source, transaction type, and then your account license also submitting transfers. Then the picking rule, and then the moment for more, more, more orders are the bigger one. I think transaction default, the intro of transfers there will transfer be covered. So once the transfers are completed, we'll go into the replenishments. There are five techniques on replenishment, fine, min max, reorder point, kanban, replenishment counting, and then periodic automatic replenishment, everything will be talked to you. And then we'll now go into the accuracy part of it, find ABC analysis, cyclic counting, and physical inventory. Then afterwards, the inventory fundamentals, like item attributes. What is the uh, item uh, uh, attribute groups? What is the item defining attribute? What are the status attributes? As an expense item, et cetera, et cetera. And all these things will be taught now. So you will be having a very good, uh, what happens, uh, uh, knowledge on the EBIS and that you will be able to impl independently implement it. Right? That is the biggest advantage. So now if I go there, my instance has already started actually. So let me go on and show you where exactly it is. Now go to space, I'll open up a Mozilla browser. I need a 32-bit browser actually for this now. Right. The installers will not teach you everything on this. One. So it's apps.example.com. Right. So, so that's the one now. Right. So if you put the URL over here, so it will be sensing it and then it will now take you to the login page now. <clears throat> so once when you go to the login page, then afterwards, uh, what you can do is you can very well, uh, uh, what happens? You can log in and then you can go to the navigator actually. <clears throat> so apps.example.com, the one where we are doing it now. So it has now come into the login page. So I'm now putting the username over here now, and then the password. 
all the details will be given to you during the training actually click on it okay. <clears throat> there is a mistake on the user name actually notifications and people log in so we go into the main page actually so from there we'll now go to the the navigator actually okay, click on it i will now go to the payables invoice the java will be invoked it will be asking you to open the Java on the web start and click on OK number. And then it will ask you to what happens, uh, accept this risk actually. Fine. So accept it and then click on run now. Now it will go into the navigator directly. So once when you have navigator, you will now have a look at the instance. You know, I will now close this form. I will now go to the help. And then I will go to the about Oracle applications. So help about Oracle applications will tell you what is the instance. You know, fine. It is now 12.2.12. Uh, and then uh, the RDBMS is latest actually. Fine. It is 19C actually. It is not all, it is 19C actually. So we are having the latest, we are working on the latest actually. <clears throat> so it's not showing you the system date also. It was, it was, it's not showing you some other US data, something like that, it's the Indian data actually. <clears throat> so this way, what happens, it is not showing you in this question. So if you have any doubts, you can very well, what happens, ask me, you can write to me or you can ask me, my, my contact details again, I will give WhatsApp number. So put a message to me and then I will now answer you your questions now. Fine. It's a low cost training, and so you will now get a very excellent introduction into eBiz basically. Fine. Then, afterwards, once when the inventory is completed, we will now uh, begin the other uh, topics like purchasing and order management one by one now. Fine. By the way. So, I hope that uh, this session will now definitely educate you fully <clears throat> on this e business inventory. Now. Okay. So, let me hope to see you very soon on the inventory by 9th of September. Fine. So, rush your payments so that what happens, you will not be disappointed. Fine. So, bye for now. And then we'll meet again on some other. Day.